Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, The Goods Tonight. We are back with another review. Today we are looking at magazine pouches, particularly by the brand of MDOM. Now, MDOM, they've been around for a bit. My buddy got me into them, particularly with the, uh, the dump pouch, the cool mesh maritime one, and then they also had the cool triangular-shaped fanny pack that actually sits really well and absolute banger at the club because you can keep your phone and keys and all your cool things in there. But they also make magazine pouches. And previously... I was running the, where is it, the friggin' Haley Strategic Magazine Pouches. These aren't bad. Um, they do have some pretty decent grip to them and everything. The uh, hey, Pistol Magazine Pouches have been exposed at the bottom. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I was kind of lukewarm on it. The uh, Rifle Magazine Pouch does hold different calibers, but a little bulky, a little cumbersome. So I wanted to just try something a bit different. And lo and behold, I saw M.Dot made magazine pouches, and voila, we got three here, particularly two standard double stack magazine uh, handgun pouches, and then one single dedicated 5.56 M4 mag pouch. Now, they do make a few um, universal magazine pouches. I have not tried those out. They look pretty cool, but I want to just do something because I'm going to particularly be running M4. So with that in mind, they do also make a dedicated 308 for your DMR sort of setups, and a AK, N, N-A-K, yeah, N-A-K, magazine pouch. So if you want to run your AK mags or some bigger magazine pouches, then using the brilliant Velcro, was it the freaking uh, one wrap solution that I basically learned of from Flatline Dump Pouch, which will be included in this video, it becomes very easy to swap those out. Just undo the Velcro, swap it out, easy peasy. Now I did do a little modification because one of the things I liked from uh, STAC with their magazines is you could get two pistol mag pouches and a rifle mag pouch and they're all just pff, one single solitary unit. So they don't go running around all crazy. These are all separated. So we did. I did a little finagling. Now, this guy will work with the majority of different magazine ones. We have a uh, mag pull guy in here. Comes out relatively easy. And you can also one hand re index that. So they work with Magpul, work with Lawyer Stand Eggs. They work in an uh, interesting uh, sort of passive retention, retention way via freaking, um, was it the Hypalon fabric? We're going we're gonna to talk about when I take this belt off, alright? So what I'm going to do real quick is we're going to just gonna drop a few things. Um, so we'll take these guys out here. Those are just a couple easy airsoft magazines. Move out that guy. Pop this free. All right, so as you can see here, we've got the three magazines up close and personal. Um, the two pistol mag pouches, they do use the little elastic around the side. This actually has a good chunk of foam down the back of it, and then it's got that well, the hypalon plating stuff. And all that pushes together, the padding compresses a bit, and that holds the magazine in place. So grabbing this guy, we can insert him there. They insert and pull very easy. That was something I didn't have as much with with the uh, Haley Strategic. So of course you gotta wonder, well is that magazine gonna be okay? It's a heavy enough mag and um, as you can see it's moving. It's not really gonna fall out even when completely inverted. Because I was inverted at the time. <laughs> so yeah, they do hold very very well and when you grab them all you gotta do is give them that little pull away from your body and then I'll remove them from all the all the pressure from the foam. I'll take off all the uh, grippiness of that hypalon, and then it just slides right out. <coughs> Incredibly easy. So when you don't want them coming out, they ain't coming out. So that's just the really cool thing. The um, same thing is repeated here on the rifle magazine pouch. There is no little cover. It's just a, a band, a thicker band of elastic. Oh, actually, I think it's about the same width. Yeah, just more elastic. It's actually sewn a bit in the middle there is to have covered and uh, yeah, it gives you your same foam and everything set up. It works very, very well. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the back here, you'll notice there's some uh, shot cord poking out through here. That's pretty much part of the modification. I wove that in between all the uh, webbing and it gives you a nice little ability to uh, keep the three together because I don't always stay on the Velcro. We uh, color outside the lines a little. Of course, here's the Velcro mod we got from um, Flatline Fiber Company, and these, um, the freaking webbing does go pretty far down, so 
A cool thing you can do, similar to the Haley Strategic one, is you can actually set the magazine pouch up higher or lower to meet your preferences. I personally like everything hanging pretty low, hanging a little loose, but um, give me some room to work with when you're wearing body armor and you still got the mag pouches and stuff going on. So, personal preference, there's a bit more, there's an extra loop here of uh, pals to work with, the uh, webbing. So, I can move the pistol mags up by one, and I can move the rifle mag up by a lot. Of course, it is actually so long. I had to double up and do um, the dump pouch down lower because this is decently stiff. This will hold well enough. So I actually had to put that down lower so it's rolled up and everything. It's not up against the back of the magazine pouch and causing problems. But ultimately, the solutions worked out pretty well. And uh, yeah, as you can see, there's the shock cord. It's just kind of like looped a little bit behind all those. Now, the one problem that that would cause is I might just need to do it with the two... Um, pistol mags and come up with a better solution if I was going to be swapping out the rifle mag pouch with the other calibers but like I said we're mostly gonna be sticking to 556 five, so this is really well done as it is of course I could also just undo them let them hang freely but you know it is what it is so simple magazine pouches and they work very very well um, let me see they do have drainage grommets so if you're worried about water and stuff get those all out dry relatively easy and that is pretty much it they're pretty simple they're uh, not terribly expensive and they work very very well actually let me grab that uh i showed the uh, pistol mag let me insert the rifle mag in there Ugh. it's easier when you're wearing it it does tend to fold up a little bit that's something i should mention so this is um ch -ch -ch -ch. There's a little bit of a, what is that, like a plasticky sort of material that helps hold this open so you do get the ability to one hand re-index and the fabric just sort of like freely folds over that. So that is something to be aware of if you want your fabric to be all really clean and stuff, but yeah, that's just something that helps hold it open. I don't think they, uh, they don't repeat that with the uh, pistol mag pouches, they're a bit smaller. But actually, if we do put this on, yeah. Throw that on real quick, grab your Magpul mag, and it is an easy enough one-hand index. You gotta get a little forward-backwards motion to get it in there. And yeah, comes out easy enough. So alternatively, if you want to run some crazy airsoft mags that do roughly the same thing, they function in much the same format. They might catch a bit of the lip, but they will sit in and they will not fall out. Uh, this is a long one. I like this 40 rounder. And the 40 rounder sits in there. It's uh, going to pop up a lot higher, so as you would naturally expect. But if we take the. Ah, this guy. Slap him in here. Let's just kind of like haphazardly get him in there. Will he fall out? The answer is no. He will not. He is nice and comfy. So, pretty fantastic mag pouches at a good price, and they come. <coughs> most importantly in M81. So that's pretty much the little video. This material is really, really cool. I like this a lot. And these feel like, they definitely feel like they're built to last. I've actually been testing these out for several months now. Every time I got an opportunity, and they, they definitely grew on me. I definitely like them. They are some fantastic, fantastic. I think they're, uh, I can't tell you if they're Condor, uh, 500 or a thousand they look closer to a thousand to me but i could be wrong so um that's pretty much the whole video if you guys are looking trying to decide on what mag pouches you want to be running if you don't mind swapping out the rifle mag pouch for all the different calibers you could have this isn't a bad one if you want to just have a single setup you can always run the pistol mag pouches i like them more than the Haley strategic one i know heresy to some but you could also just run the Haley Strategic rifle mag pouch with it, link them together, and bam, you can swap out your AK mags and everything relatively easily. I would prefer to have dedicated mag pouches. Personal opinion, uh, was it the whole friggin' mission dedicates, dictates gear, meh, and all that stuff. There's a lot of personal preference in there as well, so. That's all I got for you guys today. Easy, short video. I got a lot of other stuff to cover, if I ever get time again. Busy life. So cheers everyone, stay chivalrous, and uh, if you have any questions about this, I will be running this for the foreseeable future until, uh, what was the expression go, ah, 
It's in charge until um, until it uh, gets destroyed or I find someone better. So cheers, everyone. Stay chill, boys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye. What y'all?